It is nice to see you today. Welcome to your re-education center. It seems that we are having difficulties. Please sit in our chair and give us just a moment. Please sit in the fucking chair! We hope you had a wonderful day inside of your room. Education for the day. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed this as much as we have. Please wait for the guard to remove the restraints and take you back to your room. Have a wonderful day. CIA who are working for television networks. This, I think, gets into the kind of uh, getting into the details, Mr. Chairman, that I'd like to get into an executive session.
build back better than before. Useless! Useless! Build it back better. These pandemic politics are making people sick. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. This is not about freedom, personal choice. So, time for way to go vaccinate your workforce. But our patience is very thin. No federal vaccinations database and no federal mandate requiring everyone to obtain a single vaccination credential. We would say to really have a great reset. Please welcome the President of the United States. Too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represented extremism that threatens the very foundation of our republic. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. They do not believe in the rule of law. They do not recognize the will of the people. They promote authoritarian leaders and they fan the flames of political violence. But are a threat to our personal rights, to the pursuit of justice, to the rule of law, to the very soul of this country. They fan the flames of political violence. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will be. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go and put a bullet in Donald Trump. And that's a fact. We, the people, are the true heirs of the American experiment that began more than two centuries ago. We, the people, have burning inside of each of us the flame of liberty that was lit here in the Senate Hall. They're not going to stop before Election Day in November, and they're not going to stop after Election Day. And that should be, everyone should take note of that on both levels, that this isn't, they're not going to let up at the end of the have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. I will go and take Trump out tonight. The Republican Party today is dominated, driven, and intimidated by Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans. And that is a threat to this country. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, in a gasoline station, you get out and you go to the unique among nations that in America we're all created equal the voter is just trying to figure out as I said how to take care of the family put three squares on the table stay safe be able to pay the mortgage and the credits uh, is becoming much more informed on the um the motives of um, some of the political players and some of the, and the political parties. And I think that they are not going to be as susceptible to believing some of the outlandish things that have been said and continue to be said. Because this is about the, the um, investment in our communities which have historically been divested. One that I'm actively engaged in in advocacy for is the reduction of really truly talking about 
um, the reduction of our NYPD budget and defunding the $60 billion NYPD budget. This model of saying, you know, in, in many cities in America, over one-third of their city budget goes to police. So we have to have this conversation. What are we doing? The last thing you need is an up armored Humvee coming into a neighborhood that's like the military and Haiti. They don't know anybody. They become the enemy. They're supposed to be protecting these people. So my generic point is but that... we agree that we can redirect some of the funding? Yes, uh, absolutely. Not only do we need to defund, but we need to dismantle and start anew. Allows us to really reimagine what public safety should look like in our community. In a national lockdown, stay at home orders is like house arrest. It's, a, it's, it's, it's you know, other than slavery, which was a different kind of restraint, this is the greatest intrusion on civil liberties in American history. <laughs> An idea unique among nations that in America we're all created equal. Fighting for y'all when you're just sitting at home, you won't.